The chair recognizes Congressman Cummings. You have three minutes. My fellow members of the Committee on Inaugural Ceremonies, a new president taking office always brings great change. And this change must be marked with an appropriate dance. At this time, I'd like to present proposed Rider 4831B, which would append to the inauguration ceremonies a beautiful and symbolic dance routine. The dance, which will celebrate the great melting pot of America, is set to a score of diverse global rhythms created by my friend and colleague, Congressman Howell. The piece is entitled Wellsprings, and it synthesizes traditional waltzes with spicy Latin tangos and urban hip-hop beats. The program will proceed in this order. At the first measure of the score, lights will go up on a stage accompanied by the quiet rumbling of African percussion. Voiceovers of past presidents taking the oath of office shall sound as a beautiful red-headed woman in a Victorian gown enters stage right and stands perfectly still until measure seven, when she leaps into the muscular arms of a black dancer wearing an eagle costume. Uh, the, the costume represents the eagle of Africa. Yes, thank you. Measure 10, a group of men to be clad only in green leotards, thereby representing both the promise and peril of money, will run in from stage left, chasing the child of eternal tomorrow, hereafter referred to as the child. Measure 20, the child shall step onto the shimmering platform and begin the dance of liberty, a hip hop waltz, which the record will reflect proceeds as follows. Left, right, glissant, beat, beat, then she turns, beat, beat, and turn, beat, and turn. Congressman, I just don't think we have funding for these elaborate gowns. Well, look, just give me $600 for velvet and another 50 for beads, sequins, and glue, and I'll make them the myself. Congressman Cummings, 30 seconds remaining. We still have to choose the subject for the uh, inspirational poem to be read at the inauguration. Right, well, I'll skip ahead to the end. Here. As the Lincoln Bolero is finishing, the elder shall hand the staff of wisdom to the president-elect who exits the cocoon without him. Chief Justice Roberts shall cease tap dancing. He's been tap dancing for about 20 minutes now. And extend his arms to be lifted by the aforementioned breakdancing soul pilgrims. They will carry him to the president who will then proceed to take the oath of office. 